Hi everybody, Justine here. So today I'm sharing a meditation with you um, that I actually do most days of the week. But um, the reason that we're doing it is to remind ourselves how interconnected we are with nature and also to seal ourselves in a bubble of light and also just connect with our light body. I see it as kind of very restorative. For me, it's very restorative and um, just reminds me that I'm a very small part of interconnectedness. So um, what I would suggest you do first is get yourself comfortable. You can actually do this meditation lying down if you want, um, or you can be seated and um, yeah, whichever way you would like to do it. You could even do it as movement um, meditation if you would like to. I find that I, in the early days of me doing this, it often made me go to sleep. So if you struggle with your sleep, this is another way of um, helping yourself just settle into sleep as well. So get yourself a pillow if you're going to be lying down and a blanket if that is good for you. If you prefer to sit on a chair, sit on a chair and um and make sure that your feet can touch the ground, okay? And it's actually the same if you're lying down. You may want at some point to, to either imagine that the soles of your feet are on the ground or actually just um, bend your knees so that your feet are, your soles are on the, the ground, on the earth. So let us begin. Just take a nice deep inhalation. Filling your lungs and exhale. <sighs> Emptying them as much as you can. Let's do it again, breathing in deeply. <sighs> Exhaling completely. And one more time, breathing in deeply. Exhaling completely. And just let your breath return to its normal way of breathing. And just remind yourself that this is your time, time for you to spend some time alone. So ensure that you're not going to be disturbed at this time, please. Switch your phones off as well or on silent aeroplane mode, whatever it is that works for you. So just take time to settle into the position that you feel most comfortable to do mindful meditation. Just let your shoulders just settle in, maybe extend your neck a little bit. Ensure that your back is nice and comfy. If you're lying on the floor, or your bed, make sure that you're in a nice position. And let your eyes close and settle into just listening to my voice. You certainly do not need to look at me during this meditation. And actually, you'll probably find that my eyes are going to be closed for most of it myself. So. Taking a moment to settle, to acknowledge how you're feeling right now. Don't follow any trains of thought. Just acknowledging how you're feeling within your body. You might wish to place one hand on your heart center and another on your womb space as you just settle into how am I feeling today? And you can ask your heart how you're feeling and wait for a little word to chirp up. I'm often surprised at how a little word just pops into my mind. 
And when you've received that little word, breathe down deeply into your womb space or your if you're male, into that area, your hatha. Hara, sorry. And breathe into that area, asking how that area feels today. And invariably they feel completely different and this is okay. Just acknowledge that that's how it's feeling, their feeling. And then when you're ready, just get yourself comfortable once more, either sitting or lying, whatever works for you. And we're going to go on the journey into some woodland and to sit with the trees. So I would like you to imagine that you're outside. And there's a pathway that's taking you into the woods. And as you're just walking along this pathway, you can acknowledge some of the trees that might be along the roadside, the pathway. For you, the beech trees, the pine in its many forms. Maybe you can see some brambles, some ivy, rustling of the leaves as we're settling into autumn right now. Perhaps you can hear the gurgling of a babbling brook nearby. And you can hear the wind just fluttering any leaves that are left or hearing it and feeling it as you walk along the pathway. Just follow that pathway until you find yourself in an opening with some trees that all surround you. We'll just take a moment to look at the trees the beech tree, the elder, the magnificent oak, the yew tree, the pine tree, the willow nearing the brook, the hazel tree, the rowan, the rowan may still have some berries on during this time. The ash tree. And maybe some there are some other trees as well, a sycamore, a maple chestnut tree, even an apple tree or a crab apple. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining brightly. A crisp autumn but warm day. 
and feeling safe and secure in this little glade. In your mind's eye, let yourself find a comfortable position and make yourself at home, either lying amongst the leaves or sitting. You might find yourself by the babbling brook. Whatever it is that makes you feel comfortable, where you can feel the sun against your back or your front, settle down. Taking a breath. This is your time. A time to be. A time to connect with Mother Earth, the elements and nature. It's being aware of your breath again. And if your mind is still slightly busy, just acknowledge it and let it go. Those thoughts have no time for them right now. This is your time for space to be. So let us first acknowledge Mother Earth and our feet on the ground. Feeling her energy, her magnetic force. Acknowledging autumn and how mother nature and the trees and the plants either wither away and become dormant, shed their leaves. Let their conkers feed the deer and maybe the wild pigs and the squirrels and any animal that likes to eat them. The birds for the apple trees and the berries. The squirrels and the pigs and the deer, I think like the acorns as well. Some animals will begin to, beginning to think about nesting in those trees building their nests, or it's time for them to migrate. And under the earth, as any debris from the leaves and from the plants that are now becoming dormant, it's time for them to start to decay and go back into Mother Earth. Mother Earth is so grateful for this, for she feeds on this and then is able to compost it, and mulch it, and then rebirth it in the spring, enabling a healthy soil for everything to grow. So just becoming aware of your feet, the soles of your feet, connecting with Mother Gaia, Feel her heaviness, her magnetic energy, her gravity, her stability as you are sitting with her. Maybe your bottom is on the ground too, and your back. And you can really feel this heaviness and stability and comfort as she holds you. And as you, in your mind's eye, look at the soles of your feet or look at your feet, you become aware that they are beginning to glow with light as they connect with Mother Gaia. A warming, glowing light. Up over the tops of your feet and your toes, 
up to your ankles. Feels very comforting, holding you, helping you feel grounded, stable, trusting. This energy comes up from your ankles to your knees, pulsating energy of light, traveling up your thighs, up to your bottom. Just breathe it in and out. Sensing that pulsating, beautiful light energy holding you, keeping you safe, filling you with beautiful light. And then this energy comes up over the back of your buttocks and starts to travel up your spinal cord. And all the nerves in your spinal cord tingle because they are being fed and released and enjoying that beautiful light energy as it travels up past your hips, your spinal column, up over the back of your body to your shoulders. Feeling this energy lengthen, strengthen, and nourish your spinal cord. Feeding all of your organs within your body. Sensing that light traveling up your back to your shoulders. And now that light travels over your shoulders, the back of your shoulders, and down over the back of your arms, from your shoulder to your elbow, your elbow to your wrist, your wrist to the back of your hands, feeling them going over each of your fingers and coming back up the palm of your hands, from the palms of your hands and your wrists up to your elbows, the inside of your elbows, coming right up the inside of your arm, right the way up to your armpits. Feeling that light, feeling it pulsing, being aware of the back of your body and how light the back of your body currently feels. You might even want to place your hands at arm's reach now as you really feel that energy, breathing it in, this beautiful light energy from Mother Earth, nourishing and feeding you. Now it's going to go up your neck vertebra coming up the back of your neck, feeling those tingles as the pulsating light travels up through your neck, up through the back of your head and to your crown, the top of your head. Take a nice deep inhalation and exhalation. You become aware of the top of your head, the crown of your head. Becoming aware of the sun and the fire energy. The sky and the air. Stars, even though you might not be able to see them right now. And the moon with her watery feelings of intuition and insights and reflection. Travelling further, higher, 
the cosmic energy, the energy of all that is, interconnectedness. You may call it God, the goddess. You may have a completely different name for it. Whatever it is, the divine light, just really becoming aware of this amazing, beautiful light energy, which is mingling now, coming in to your head, connecting with the earth energy, a stunning, iridescent light energy. And together they come down over the front of your head, in through your third eye and your forehead, over your eyebrows, into your eyes, over your eyes around your temples, mingling with the energy of the light energy from your back, coming down over your nose, through your nostrils, your sinuses, your cheekbones, into your ears, from the inner ear, the middle ear, the outer ear. Coming over that area between your nose and your lips. Over your mouth, into your mouth. You might even want to open your mouth and allow that beautiful light energy to really fill it. You might want to move your jaw around as it goes over your jaw, over your chin, filling this whole area, coming down into your neck energy, all that lymphatic area around your the base of your ears and your neck, your tonsils coming down over that area into your thyroid. Breathing it in. Taking a moment to see it in your mind's eye, feeling your whole body mingling with the light energy of the earth. Travels down further over your shoulders, your thymus. It's going down your esophagus your throat area right the way down into your heart space being aware of the tips of your fingers of the tingling with this renewable energy that is completely has now completely filled so much of your body and coming into your heart space taking a moment to really breathe that energy in, that beautiful light energy. Feeling its interconnectedness. It's going to come down further now to our diaphragm, our stomach, liver, gallbladder, going into the pancreas and the spleen, that area that we're really caring for at the moment with our cleanse, feeling that energy, releasing and filling your whole solar plexus with light, releasing all that no longer serves it. You may even start to be connecting with your kidneys and your adrenals. The spleen is so much about worry, anxiety, guilt, an inflammatory process. I see it very much as the army headquarters of your body, always ready to attack. So it loves calmness and gentleness, 
trust, security. It likes to feel safe. And this light offers all this. Coming into the pancreas, that area of seeing the joy in life. The sweetness of life. What is sweet and lovely in your life? Coming into the liver. Mm, first, maybe we'll visit the stomach. Digesting life. Nourishing. Supporting us. The liver. What I call the kitchen of our body. Where it stores everything. Contains all of the nutrients and our hormones. Our massive storage vessel. It decides what we're going to keep and what we're going to let go. And it holds guilt and anger and resentment. And the gallbladder, its other half, which holds the bile and helps us digest and break down fats and so much more. It's very bitter and so it tends to hold resentment and bitterness emotionally. Coming into our small intestines, that energy of digestion, breaking down, transmuting, changing foods, it's transition place, breaking down so much for us helping us absorb our nutrients. And 70% of our lymphatic system is actually within our colon, which includes some of the small intestines. So this is a really important area. Our whole body is like an amazing interactive structure where it's talking together all of the time supporting you as human and so become aware that this whole area between your breasts and your tummy button are now completely filled with light Breathing it in. Becoming aware that all that no longer serves is just being able to be released, either going downward towards the earth or outward into the ether. We're coming now into our pelvic basin horror area for men sacral chakra so from our tummy button downwards to over our genitalia just become aware of this light filling this space being aware of your womb space and if you don't have a womb space whatever space is there your creative center, where we can go to see our ancestors, to meet our ancestors. For a woman, this is very much the maternal ancestral line, with our ovaries, our womb space. But if we don't have that, then we can still connect with it. We still have that energy there. And men to have a sacral area, sacral chakra. Just connecting with our hips and our hip bones. Coming down to our pubic centre and over our genitalia. 
becoming aware of our large intestine, which is actually not only in this area, but the descending colon is very important around the sacral, where we really do let go, release, expel. Just breathing this lovely light energy in your mind's eye, seeing it traveling over this whole area, clearing, healing, connecting. The warmth of the light, the wind of the light, the movement of the light with the air and the water flowing, releasing the warmth of the sun energy, the insightfulness of the moon energy, the healing of the cosmic energy, the all that is. And now this is also connecting with your legs, going down your legs, over your knees, and under your knees, of course, over your calves and your shins, and your feet, and your ankles and your toes, and into Mother Earth. So let us just sit for a moment in silence, breathing this energy in and out knowing that we are a vessel of light containing all the elements, the sun, the moon, the stars, the cosmic body, Mother Earth, the energy of the trees and their wisdom, of the woodland and babbling brook, being held by Mother Earth. And as you breathe in and out, you may see that this pulsating energy is also extending through your aura, the area outside of your body that contains so much, front and back, above our head, below our head, around our sides. And if you like, you can imagine it that if your arms are still outstretched, this bubble of light is above us, where our arms are, if we stretch them up, it will be the same underneath our feet, in front and behind. It's like a massive bubble that surrounds us. And let's just send this light energy, asking it to wash our auras, releasing anything, whether it's from your physical body, your cosmic body, your energetic body, ancestral body, from an energy you may have picked up from other people who you've seen. Just let this beautiful light energy just cleanse and mingle and release and seal. And as we're breathing this in and out, we can even bring in a golden cord of light from the sun or from the cosmos or from the moon, whatever it is that feels right for you. And just seal your whole aura with this beautiful band of golden light. Sealing in 
all of that light that we have received. Being really aware of the interconnectedness of us all, of nature, Mother Gaia, day and night, the elements, earth, air, fire and water. Take a moment to feel how light your body feels. And if it wasn't for Mother Nature holding us still, we would be able to literally just float away in our bubble of iridescent light. She is holding us steady. So this light reminds you that it holds you. And we are all one. And the importance of treating everybody as you yourself would like to be treated with love, compassion, respect, courtesy. And this bubble of light reminds you that if you are spoken harshly of from the outside. It will protect you and whatever is being sent to you will be sent back. But it also reminds you that whatever you send out, if it isn't with kindness, love, compassion, humility, it too will return to you. Now drawing your awareness to the soles of your feet once more. We thank Mother Gaia for, for absorbing all that no longer serves us, for holding us still, for her stability. Come aware of the heaviness that we feel of sitting on the ground or on your chair or on your bed, being aware of the physical of your body. Returning into your body once more. And as you open your eyes, you can Take a moment to see those trees again, hear the babbling brook, the willow by the stream, the berries and the apple tree, the leaves on the floor, the silver birches, grandmother beech tree, the majestic oak, the pine and its beautiful aroma. the hazel, the rowan with its berries. Maybe there's some holly, some ivy, a maple, a sycamore, a yew tree with its huge protectiveness. The ash tree. starting to become aware of their strength and beauty. Becoming aware of being in your little grove, your sanctuary of woodland. 
letting your eyes open and returning to your woods, standing up and in your mind's eye, imagining that you're walking back out of the wood and returning into this place now. Your home, this present situation. Being here once more, returning, returning, returning. Right. Coming back into yourself, taking a drink if you would like. returning to the present. So, blessings, hope you enjoyed that. And I will speak to you again very soon.